we're Laura and Deirdre from Ullinand and um, you can f we're the Irish Fibre Craft magazine and we're available at ullinand.ie. Um, mm -hmm. You were doing so well up until that point, you've done it all professionally. Yeah. We're available. Yeah, I guess, yeah. We're, we're not available. We're, <laughs> we're on, no. You can find us at <laughs> ullinand.ie. <laughs> yes. Come in. I need an You've actual script. So well, yeah, I yeah. think that's what we need behind yeah, us. We, actual, yeah, we fudge it every time. Q was it all a Q? Yeah, <laughs> especially now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. So yeah, we're. Uh, you can find us at alanandali, and uh, we're gearing up for our next issue. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be imminent in the next week or so. Um, we've had a few setbacks, but sure, look, that's uh, all part of it. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank God we're not doing it for like I mean it is professional, it's a yes. professional publication. Yes. Yeah. But thank God we're not like doing it yeah. professionally. We can have there's a bit more flexibility, let's say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause yeah. But because life happens and uh, you know Yeah. You know, yeah. things change and you kinda have to adjust yeah. things. So yeah. And I we guess. we give ourselves deadlines, but I think when you're working with so many other people it's Yeah, that's true. You're kind of and you don't. We're not very good at saying, "Come on, chop chop." Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true as well. Yeah. So if you do it via email, it can it can come across as quite aggressive. I know because people can't read your tone. Yeah. If you're yeah. talking about, if you're speaking to someone, you can be like, "Oh, come on," you know. So yeah. But um, yes, yeah, so you can find us on the social medias. So on Facebook, we are Olen and on Instagram, we're Olen and Magazine. On and on Twitter, we're Ollenand. Yeah, and then we have our own Ravelry group, mm -hmm. which if you search in the groups tab um, under Ollenand, you'll find us. And we put the podcast notes up there, and we generally chat, have a bit of a chat in there, don't yeah, we? Yeah, a bit of a chat. Um, yeah. We've been a little bit quiet of late. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, again, that's just a reflection of how busy we are, I think. How busy it? we are, and I guess as well, people are, with the heat, yeah. people are maybe... Not that they're not knitting as much, but certainly maybe they're just outside and you know. I, I I think the day just runs away with you more when it's maybe. when it's hot and when it's bright. I like last night at nine o'clock I was like, Why am I hungry? And like, yeah. It's nine o'clock, do you know? Like yeah. so um, yeah, I th I think it's that. I think yeah, the it's day weird. runs it's away on you. Yeah. 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 And now it's coolest day, your weather report from Ireland today. Yes. Is that the temperatures have dropped slightly. Oh. And according to the radio, as I was driving over to Deirdre's house, we're going to have a little bit of rain later. Oh which gosh. I think yeah. everybody would be a bit happy with that, to be honest. Yeah. Because even your, my poor grass is yellow. Yeah. Like. And there's really bad water shortages in Dublin, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, So, yeah, do you know, it's... I mean, not to put too, too much of a point. I point know. Of, will it just rain? I know. We're just not used <laughs> to We're not built for I this. need to wear eye makeup again. Look at this. Like, my allergies are driving me oh. insane. Yeah, it must be a nightmare. Yeah, God. So, but you're not here for that. You yes, are here. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, actually, if you want to find us individually, I mean, you can oh, find yeah, us yeah. through all and anyway. Yeah. But if you want to find us individually, you're. Um, so I'm uh, Georgia McArdle on Instagram, um, and then I'm Donna Diamond on Ravelry. And I'm Left Foot Daisy on Instagram, Facebook, um, Ravelry, and I have my own blog, which is fiberstrumpet.com. Yeah. All the business is that's it? the business I think and uh, oh just one thing so if you're if you're a new visitor a new subscriber welcome and thank you for joining us um, and if you're a returning visitor thanks a million for coming back we really appreciate uh, your time yeah yeah um, so as always what we try and do uh, we kickstart with a look at some of the bits and pieces that we've done in the magazine in the previous issue so we have two uh, remaining designs that we haven't yet shown you um, that we're just going to take a closer look at. Um, so the first one of those is the little baby cardigan. What would you call this? This is layette set. The lay set, layette set? Yeah, yeah. I suppose a layette set. So it's from. It was a, a pattern that Sirdar um, gave us, and they uh, allowed us to um, print it, which is brilliant. Um, and it's. It's, is it an older? It's because I no, don't want to make the mistake. No, it's, is this a new this pattern? Is a new yeah, pattern yeah. yeah, and it's done in a new yarn. So yeah. the yarn is actually called Serdar Number One, um, which is um, it's an acrylic nylon blend. Mm. There were a few of these kind of floating around a few years ago, uh, labelled as microfiber. At oh, least okay. I'm pretty sure they were oh. the same yarn. They definitely felt the same. Um, 
So you made, I made the cardigan and you made yeah, the bonnet the and, bonnet the, and the, little shoes. the little shoes. So this is the little cardi. So you can see, so it was knitted all in one piece up to the um, arms. Mm -hmm. The arms were knitted separately and then there's a raglan shaping on the arms. Um, and then the band, M my only issue with it was the band because the band is one of those um, sewn on bands and I don't particularly like that. Oh, okay. If I was knitting this and it wasn't going to be in the magazine so that it didn't have to be the exact as the magazine, I yes. would have picked up the stitches. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Because I just, I, I just... It's more seamless as such, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and do you know, when you're sewing on a border, it's a lot more, yeah. it's a lot more bloody fiddly. Yeah. Because you're really conscious about trying to make sure that you sew the curve, if you oh, like, yeah. in the right place, or that you put the button in the right place. Yes. When you're knitting, you can kind of, when you're picking up the stitches and you're putting the button, you can say, right, I know the button hole needs to be here. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're sewing it and it's garter stitch, which is stretchy, even if you put the button hole in what you think is the right place, by the time you've got everything on, you're like, no. Oh, sugar. Yeah. So to be fair, the sewing on took me quite a bit of time. I really like the pattern. It's I, cute. Yeah, and I yeah. really like the yarn. It has um, like a cotton it's feel nice. to yeah, it, Yeah, it's lovely and light. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's just a bit, yeah, it's a nice pretty little pattern. It is. Yeah, it is. And it went up to, oh, we haven't, three years it went up to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So zero to six, six to twelve, one to two, two to three. Um, really, really, really nice little pattern to... To make it knitted up really quickly as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I made a little shoes. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you have to confess. I do have to confess. <laughs> so I made two left shoes instead of two. <laughs> I think all of my all of my knitting, I somehow have. I put in. It's like I deliberately put in mistakes. I do it. I, don't I think. Know, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, so I made two left shoes by mistake, which in that they have. Fastening is over on this side, so that one is meant to be over there. But you can see it has a little kind of a uh, lacy type. Everything else is the same. Nothing else. Everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. And again, like these little shoes, I don't know how practical they are as such. I mean, I don't know, but I know, I'd say they'll, would yeah, they stay on? Yeah, they will do for Because I was while. kind of thinking, yeah. okay, are these going to stay on? Yeah. Um, but again, like that with the thing, it was all there was little bits. And then I had to sew it up, a little, you know. So again, it was just a tiny bit fiddly, and they're so ickle. It's that, working in miniature. Yeah, you know, it? you're yeah. kind of trying to, and you're trying to make yeah. sure that they're the same size and that the, you know, everything goes on. But I think they're look, they just look. They're so pretty. They're just, they just look so cute. They they're are. They are so pretty. Cute. Um, so they're they're really really cute. And then the the bonnet I think was super speedy. Mm. I that flew up. It took me. I I think I made that in one night. Um, I, I think just, that's, I, I actually I think, think so the bonnet and cute. the cardi yeah. are just, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's just a really simple pattern. Um, again, you know, you can see the repeat of the little lace pattern and the head shaping, but it's just a really pretty little bonnet. Yeah. Very simple, but it, it just looks yeah kind of, vin it almost looks vintage, yeah. even though it, it's not, it's kind of yeah. nice and modern as well. And yeah. yeah. It's really nice. So nice little pretty pattern. Yeah. I thought they were lovely, lovely actually. Yeah. Yeah. And very generous of Soda to give oh, us fabulous. a new pattern. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, really cool. Because um, we're always saying, we'll have an old one. We don't mind like choosing up an old yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But yeah, no, really, really nice and pattern. Fairness, really, really yeah, liked it. Yeah. So it's actually um, said our baby cardigan and um, pattern is four eight four nine. If um, I think if I remember rightly, there's actually a blanket on it as well, isn't there? There is, yeah, there is um, a blanket. So it, mm. like if you did the whole set, there's a proper layer, and maybe we'll feature the blanket at a later date. Oh, actually, yeah, we could um, do. Yeah, we just didn't have the time. No, <laughs> no. Actually, yeah, a baby blanket. Yeah, mm, a baby blanket. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So then we have, oh yeah, so then we did, um, so you, if you've got your phone, I'm just, I'm talking oh to yeah. her about her mm -hmm. phone because we're going to show you a phone, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Good call. So, <laughs> yeah, because um, we did, you might remember in our last issue, or our current issue, we did a feature on Tunisian crochet, and then we also did um, an interview with uh, Ifa Nisulavon, Nisulavon, um, who is kind of, I'm not going to say Ireland's only Tunisian crocheter, but certainly one of the ones that you would know. Um, and she, um, so we got in, when we were talking to Aoife, we were like, oh, you know, it'd be great to have a pattern as well, just to show people kind of a beginner's Tunisian crochet pattern, because 
I guess it's not something I'm very familiar with. No. Um, do they call it Afghan crochet in yeah, the States? It's, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. I think actually it's, uh, and she's a prolific designer, isn't she? Yeah, her stuff crochet. is amazing. Yeah, like you'd look at it and you'd be like, is it knit? Yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lots of, lots of kind of lacy stuff, isn't there? And really stuff that you good. just, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily associate with crochet. So then when you look at it and you see that it's Tunisian crochet, mm. you're like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we had asked Aoife just to design something that would be very simple. So you can see here, it's a simple foam cosy, uh, made in Tunisian crochet, and then she put a little pretty um, floral embroidery, uh, which is on the back as well. Because the stitches are quite square, aren't they? Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. It's almost like a grid, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you can see here is a nice little kind of button loop and a cute little wooden flower button, which kind of complements the, um, the embroidery. Mm. Really pretty. I just I really want yeah. to have a go. I just haven't had the time over yeah. the last couple of months. Yeah. I, I kind of had in my head that I was gonna I was gonna make this as well. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I've read through the pattern and the way it's explained is very, very clear. Okay. So I like I think we were saying before on the podcast that when we when I'm doing crochet, I have to say it out loud. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm, I, yeah, I find it very hard to do crochet patterns. Unless it's like a granny square which is in my head, I can if I'm doing anything that's Different. I'm like, okay, so two trebles in that. I'm, I'm saying it out yeah, loud yeah, to myself. Yeah. And I'm going, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd have to say it out loud so no one could be in the house. Um, but yeah, I think I could probably yeah. manage. I would like to have a go. Um, um, and I guess because because Aoife teaches Tunisian crochet as well, so perhaps maybe that's why her patterns will be you yeah know, very you know well yeah. because she has to teach what she's yeah. writing. I They're guess. very very clear and yeah. it's very well explained. Yeah. yeah. So give it a go, and if you do manage to do it, <laughs> please let us know. We do, yeah. <laughs> and that, so we made this in um, uh, Drops Baby Merino. Yeah. In a four ply, isn't it? Yeah, it four was ply. a four ply. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she used a, a four, a four mil hook. And Aoife just uses normal crochet hooks. She does she? actually. Yeah, she said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you could, yeah. She said you can easily do tunas in crochet yeah. on just a regular hook. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of one of the longer. Tunisian crochet yeah, hooks. Yeah. So no, it's really nice. Yeah. Cool. That's and a, a good different. Yeah. Good beginner project. Yeah. 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 So there. I think that's all our. That's all our designs, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 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 It was quite a bumper it was issue. A bumper for issue, designs, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah. So check them out. They're all of them are still on allanand.e, and of course, then when we publish the next issue, everything goes into back issues. So you can always find them there as well. Yeah. Yeah. And the Ravelry has been updated. I was speaking to a wonderful lady on Ravelry who helped me kind of go through all of the patterns from the previous issues and just put them in the right order. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool. Because when I first started putting stuff on Ravelry, I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, but as the issues have gone on, you kind of need to have them in the right place. Okay, yes. Um, so then, yeah, so everything should be in order now, I hope. Yeah. Well, Fingers crossed. If, if, if you can find something, do let us know and yeah. we can certainly direct you in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so next up we've got two, there's the final two things, so we had the final two patterns um, from our issue 12 oh, yeah. and we've got the final two Arlen and Love item. Love items? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well I'll leave you talk about this thing. Oh yeah, do because yeah, you, I've been using yeah, so, it. Yeah, um, so I'll do the, the, so these are from R&H Shearer Ceramics and they're porcelain brooches and I have to say, you know when you find something and you're like, Wow, I feel like I say that all the time, actually. I know. Um, but I'd spoken to, um, to I think it was actually um, Helen I was speaking to, if I remember rightly. So it's Helen and Rory Shearer. And I was speaking to Helen, and I was like, oh my God, your brooches are fab, blah, 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 blah. And she said, oh, I'll send you one. So I was like, okay, all right. So I was expecting one, and two came. So let me oh. show you first how they're packaged. So... So this is this is Helen and Rory's card first. That's really nice. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let me show you this here. I think that's probably nice and clear. Yeah. So I was expecting maybe this to come, which mm -hmm. I will open in a minute. Mm -hmm. But then this oh. came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh. oh wow! So what's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> so and you open this wonderfully packaged box. This is in the box. So pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. It's very unlike anything I've ever yeah. seen before. It has a nice kind very, of translucent yeah. quality, doesn't it? Yeah, look, very, very cool. Really nice. Yeah. 
and it feels sure. like it feels really lovely. Oh, nice. Okay, so the couple mainly work in porcelain um, because it's malleable and um, it's it's soft and it's malleable, and they can kind of do whatever they want to do in it. So I'm just reading my notes to make sure I get it sorted. Um, so. Um, Helen and Rory do framed porcelain illustrations and they're just like drawings in clay. Um, the lines are incised and layers of oxide wash are put on under the glaze colour um, and bring the drawings to life. Um, Helen says it's a really slow process but she enjoys the work. Mm -hmm. um, and then the brooches and the frame pieces, they, they can be found in um, shops and galleries throughout Ireland and the UK and they're also available from the RNH Shearer Ceramics website. The brooches start at 14 euros um, mm. and they're on Instagram and they're on Facebook. All of the proper notes about um, Helen and Rory are on um, the Olin and Loves page in the in issue 12. Oh yeah. Which was our spring awakening. Spring awakening. Which is, feels really strange saying that now when we're I kind know. of like... <laughs> Baking. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like the, the, um, the framed pieces are... Oh, yeah really yeah. exquisite so yeah. yeah if you're into ceramics or anything like that pop over and have a look um the brooches i mean they're light aren't they that was yeah, very light actually, yeah. so you could wear it on something and not worry about it kind of hanging over yeah, and tearing yeah. your clothes or whatever yeah but yeah definitely give them a check out really yeah like really nice a little bit different as yeah. well yeah 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 oh that's cool yeah um we also then uh, had a look at um the knit kit and um so yeah um, so these are, uh, so it's a mum and two sisters uh, team working on this uh, kit and it, um, I think it's, yeah, I guess it's hard to say, like when you say knit kit you kind of think, well what, what could be in it, but literally yeah. it's packed with stuff. Um, so we were given, so the girls kind of sent us on um, one each, so we've been able to have a look at them. So we kept one in the box so you can see all the packaging. Um, they packaged really well actually and then it's they? all nicely kind of explained what where everything is at the back um, so then I have been kind of regularly using my one um, and I've found it to be honest I found it quite like you know I suppose every knitter is different there's always going to be certain tools that you gravitate towards so I've been um, using like so for example the tape, tape measure I've been using that quite a lot because I'd be often like, oh, where should I put my, where did I put my measuring tape? And then I'd be like, oh no, hang on, <laughs> it's just in here. And then back in the back here, it's like um, a little kind of, I'm going to say container, let's say, but you can see here, there's all the needle, um, what's that called? Needle gauge. Needle gauge. <laughs> I just went what out of my head. What size does it go up to the needle gauge, I actually? Think it's like, so this one is the biggest one here. Um, a 10 millimetre? Yeah, 10. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really mm. generous, like you, you know, you're definitely gonna yeah. see the big, yeah, so 10. Um, and so then in this little, I'm gonna see, so I just want, don't want to tip everything out, but yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah. So you can see there, um, there's a little scissors, which is all nicely folded up. And that's, again, that's a really handy little thing. Um, They're meant to also be airplane safe, aren't they? Oh, I don't sure. know if, now to be fair, I don't know if they'd be taken off of you here or in the UK. Yeah. Because I had one of those, um, you know, the Swiss Army cards. Oh yeah. And they have a pair of scissors that have one handle. Oh, you know, and yes. The card was taken off was of it? me. Yeah, okay. yeah. But um, possibly in the states they'll be okay for oh, kind okay. of the internal flights, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's all little kind of doodads inside here as well. Then like needle protectors, um, locking stitch markers, you know, stitch minders, a little darning needle. Um, really, really handy. And then. Look, there's so much. There's a row counter up the top here. Um, there's a uh, crochet hook on the side here. Um, and there's a little snip. Oh, yeah, look, I've read this. A thread yeah. snip here on the side. Yeah. Um, oh, I think so even it. if you did leave your scissors at home if you were flying, yeah. you can still cut your your yarn. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah with the yeah. snip, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, look, it's just, and it's everything just in one container, which I find, it's just, it's, I always just have it in my bag, so then I don't need to bring, if I'm, I suppose when you're, it's, it's handy for being portable, so if you're kind of out and about, yeah. you can just bang this in your bag and you know you have everything, instead of bringing, you know, your whole kit yeah. and caboodle with you, yeah. uh, it's kind of handy. 
Um, yeah, because we've got quite big notions pouches, haven't we? Yeah, both of us. yeah. And you just end up putting so oh, much I'm, stuff yeah, in I'll there. I'll pop that in there, and I'll yeah. pop that in there. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yes. and you might necessarily need them yeah. all the time, but this is kind of all the kind of things that you need when you're you're doing knitting and you're kind of trying to finish stuff off. Um, so it's available in um, the Tallulah blue, which is Laura's one, and the black. And um, we know that it's stocked in the Constant Air in Dublin with Rosemary. I think she has the exclusive rights. Yeah. Does she? Oh, she yeah. does. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's so from our perspective, I suppose from Irish viewers' perspective, that's great. You'll be able to buy them because Rosemary has um, an online shop as well, actually. So even if you weren't in Dublin, you could order them online. And they're available for thirty-five euros. Um, and they're quite hard wearing. In fairness, like they're solid. Yeah. There's nothing kind of cheap or gimmicky about them in yeah. fairness like they're they very were good quality. made years ago weren't they and yeah. it was oh, a, yeah, a pink yeah. it was a, it, it was kind of a, a cheaper okay like flimsy plastic, flimsy okay. stuff mm -hmm. yeah yeah um yeah i because um when i saw them i was like oh i wonder if they're still the same Do you know it'll be hard to say it's a good product yeah if it's not a good product but actually to oh, be fair yeah. you've been using yours quite oh, a lot really haven't have, you yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been every time i see her with hers i'm like got mine out yet I'll leave it in the box until we do yeah, that yeah yeah oh no in fairness yeah and actually when we were out and about last weekend didn't we see another lady who had one? Oh yes and yeah. she was using hers as yeah. well so um they're out in the wild people. yeah so there you go that's that's yeah yeah that's an endorsement there and then yeah, yeah absolutely um so uh so the knit kit guys you can keep keep up with all the things that they're doing on Instagram and Facebook as well yeah and their website yeah. but again you can find all those details on uh our magazine mm -hmm. yeah they're bringing out new colours. So oh, there's me talking about yeah, it after. They're colours. bringing out new colours. Oh, yeah. And they're releasing a posh version, I believe, mm, for Vogue Knitting. Oh, okay. So I was told. Well, watch that space then. <laughs> Have a look on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. No, I would I, I would certainly recommend it. Definitely, yeah. I find it. I find it very, very useful. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Cool. Um, ta da! Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> what are we making? Well, Dee just made one earlier. Oh yeah. Oh, and I'm going to be oh, grand. <laughs> How exciting! I'm so mad, actually. When you think about it, I forgot that you hadn't said it to anybody. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. Someone, someone said to me yesterday, "How's Dee?" And I was like, "She's pregnant." <laughs> and they were like, "Really?" Oh. Like, kind of, really, Laura? And I was like, "Yeah." To be fair, like I've been waiting. An oh, awfully long oh, time. God. As long as I've known you, you've been wanting to be a grandmother. It's so funny. <laughs> so I'm like, yes, yes. So yeah. babies everywhere. Oh. So your sister's due. My sister's due in two weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah, and then me in nine weeks after that. Yeah, and then Dina's due. Dina's New Year's due. Day. New Year's Day. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it could have been timed a little bit. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Although, like New Year's, New Year's. New Year's Eve is the only time that I allow myself to be maudlin in the whole year. Oh. Um, I just That's my year where I'm like, do you know what? Everyone's dead <laughs> that I love. <laughs> oh. That's not true. I love my, my, love my, I love my family, but, but the people in my past, if you like, my dad and stuff like that. So New Year's, Day, New Year's Eve is my... I can be maudlin today. Yeah. I'm not maudlin at any other time of the year. I can be a bit maudlin today. So that will give me something good. Yeah, and imagine if the baby's born on New Year's Eve then. You'd yeah. have a totally different perspective. Yeah, totally awkward. Yeah. No more New Year's Eve parties ever oh, because, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good stuff. It's oh, all it's great. wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. And I got to go to her first midwife appointment. That's why I was over in Brighton. Yeah. Because so, it's been the hardest secret to keep. Oh, I'd say so. Oh my God, I've been fit to burst. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, you know as well. And I've been, everyone's been going, how's Dean? And I'm like, Dean's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Don't yeah. ask me anything else. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what is she up to? I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> the more you talk, the more you're likely to spill, yeah, <laughs> spill the beans, as it were. <laughs> so, oh, so, yeah. Yeah, so it's I'm, wonderful. I'm having problems not knitting, if you know what I mean. Not starting stuff. I'm, because I'm, yeah. trying, I'm determined I've got to finish stuff. Yeah. Which, to dar wise, you're doing really well. Well, I'm kind of flying a little bit. Yeah. I um, I finished my. Um, I've got this oh, up on Instagram, so but it's so cute. I finished my baby vertebrae in, it's, it's a little bit bright, <laughs> screaming <laughs> yellow, <laughs> um, it's called Sunshine and it's by uh, Irish Fairy Tale Yarns, I just thought it was just, I, it just made me smile. It's very yeah. well suited for a yeah. July baby, Yeah. do you know what yeah. I mean? Hot, hot, hot. 
So there you go. Yeah. So that's a nice little pattern, the baby vertebrae, because there's no buttons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just a really, it's quite a practical one as well, mm -hmm. I think, um, just for a newborn as well. Is your sister hoping to breastfeed? Yeah. 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 So yeah. it just gets so warm. Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Um, so that was that one. And then I, um, I, I know I've shown you the preparium already, but I've uh, since added buttons. Aww. So I'm quite happy with them. Nice little wooden, I don't know, go closer. They're fab. Kind of like they're a really terracotta, yeah. rusty type of colour, and I really like them. Again, I have my trademark mistake where I ran on a little bit too much with the buttonhole here. So there's a bigger gap here than everywhere else, but I, I think, think you it's it only there. I would maybe yeah. notice. I, knew, I know it's there, but... I wouldn't have noticed it until you'd said yeah. it. Yeah. But I'm happy enough. But anyway, I think they, it, it works well with this little... Um, because when I was talking to Kira recently, she was like, do you know when you're having a boy, it's like, it's just all blue. And I was like, mm. it doesn't have to be all blue. What about like olive green? <laughs> <laughs> or a nice grey or, you know, oh. so. And is yellow for you? Or is the yellow's yellow? for me. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. I think that would be I a I suppose step actually with the, with the gap between though, you could almost actually, get things yeah, that's coming back. True. Yeah, because, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because her little fellow would be, yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, it is, it's kind of funny, but I think it can be, I think nowadays, there's allowance, well not even allowances, but you can be a bit more, you go outside the kind of traditional colours, yeah. you know. Yeah, definitely. And I think I'd be, I'd be very much like, like I would, I would put my baby girl in blue. No oh more. yeah. Like, yeah. you know, no, I guess maybe the other way around doesn't quite work, but I think, still think there's room for little spots of pink in yeah. little boys' outfits, why not? Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, so, um, so they're my two, hey, you've been really yeah, busy. they're my two ta-da's, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I really haven't been doing. <laughs> I haven't been doing much knitting, um, because of what I said. Because yeah. I'm like, oh my god, it's nine o'clock. Oh, by the time I've eaten, yeah. and then played yeah. taxi driver, and I do my diary. Like I've been, oh, yeah. I've been getting my knitted diary done. I should have bought that. I have so many things to sew. Oh god. I don't know I why I thought this was, was like, a good idea. God, she's only halfway through the year. Done, and I like, oh. I have tons of them. I really, oh no. <laughs> I do need to start sewing them up. <laughs> Um, but last night I finished my Quakey yarn stretcher, mm. so I'm trying to be very good and work through that list of disgusting oh, list of. Yeah. But I could cross four off because I no I cross five off, so I crossed off. There were four things for Ollen and that I had on the needles at the time. Oh okay. And then there was this, so that's five things I can cross oh, off of that go. list. So this, um, so this hasn't been blocked because I literally finished it last night. Oh, nice. Um, and yeah, it's really nice. Oh, I, love, I love this pattern. Yeah. Um, it's a really, really good pattern. Yeah. Irish fairy tales, Irish fairy tale yarn um, dyed this colourway. Oh, is that it? Especially oh, for cool. me. Um, and it's meant to be for my mum. I don't know if my mum will see this, so sorry if you do. <laughs> um, ta da. Um, <laughs> but my mum's recently moved to Spain. Um, oh. So maybe the need for a warm shawl isn't. Well, maybe the evenings there might possibly. get a bit cooler in yeah. the winter. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's lovely, really nice. I do like it, and yeah. it, and this pattern blocks well. So to be fair, I had a bit, a little bit of yarn left. I should have brought it with me, um, but I, I didn't have enough to carry on too much, and it was already. Okay. I picked up the boys late last night, um, and it was already kind of half one. I was like, no, stop, oh my God. stop, okay. yeah. cast off. Yeah. So I'll, I'll block it. I, I, in fact, actually, I've got a couple of things that are kind of near to finish, so I might finish them and have like. A, Blocking party. Blocking party. Yeah, there we um, go. So that's my only to doll. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah. But it's been, it, it is harder to knit in this heat as well, I yeah. find, because you're just, well, yeah. I know, I have well, no energy <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, can I not just go to bed already? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, it does drain you, like, it just even if you're not pregnant. Yeah. 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 I think it's your hands a lot, isn't it? Because yeah. you're, you're definitely so much warmer. Yeah. And you're like working away and you're like, no, this. Yeah. yeah, it's not flowing or, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if yeah. it's draped over you, like it's all right with baby knits because they're so ickle that you're kind of just, they're here. But like if you're knitting something like that yeah. or a blanket or something, it's on you and yeah. you're like, oh God. And it's I've been so trying much. to knit outside, I've been trying to sit outside. I'm I'm very blessed. I live in a really beautiful um, place. Not to say that you don't, but I live in the middle oh, of nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. But the flies. Oh yeah. 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 Like a dairy farm. Oh my god, I'll tell you a hilarious story actually. It was so funny. <laughs> so I was driving up the farm the other day after I picked up Kai one evening and this 
goat just ambled. The cows were on the right hand side as I'm coming up the track. And this goat just ambles across the, um, the path. Yeah. And he's got real like socks. He's like giving it a whole strut. And he goes under one of the fences and he just walks in with the cows. And I'm like, I kind of look at Kai. And I'm like, is it a goat? And he went, no, 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 it's definitely a goat. <laughs> Where did you come from? I don't I phoned the farm manager and I'm like, so, has anyone around here got goats? And he went, yeah, we have. Oh, went, right. Well, what's it doing down here then? And he went, no, 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 it, it lives with the cows. And I'm like, since when? Like, it's like a goat. Yeah. So yes. there's a single goat who just yes. lives in with the cows who I haven't ever spotted. And then so I'm walking past him with the dogs and he kind of comes out and gives it all this like at me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no. I have to phone Kai and say, Kai, get in the jeep and come and get me because the goat is chasing me. Cool. This goat looks threatening. <laughs> Imagine if the goat did chase you. Oh, Lord. Because <laughs> they can probably run fast. Oh, it's Pretty faster than you, I, I Yeah, guess. definitely that yeah. night, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord, that's so funny. One more thing to add to your list of don't. Yeah, things yeah. to be careful of on the so farm. So random. Oh, so yeah. funny. Yeah, and then the bull in the field is going around and he's like, look at me, I am. And he, he's walking around the, like the perimeter of the fence going, hello ladies, to all of his ladies. Yeah. And like, no, come move along to me and the dogs. Move. Yeah, nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nature at work. God, so, that's hilarious. But I can't meet outside. I've been trying. I yeah. just can't. Yeah. yeah, I've tried it every now and then. At lunchtime I might try because I'd be at least a little bit awake at lunchtime because when I finish work I'm just so tired but at lunchtime but then it's so hot yeah yeah it's just yeah 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 we're right I was gonna say we're Irish I'm, I'm part yeah. Irish yeah <laughs> so I was, reading, I, was saying, I was saying this earlier on to my husband I was reading this um thing you know people were kind of you know, people from warmer countries were like geez those Irish and those English they can't handle the heat but somebody had said and they're they're dead right we're not we don't have AC yeah. we don't have you know, our houses are built to retain the heat. Yeah. So they're always warm. Like, we, we're, you know, we're just not used to it. And, and, like, we haven't had rain in... I can't even remember the last time yeah, it rained. And that's yeah. kind of... It, it's not normal. Like, so I think, um, you know... Yeah. yeah. Yes, okay, we can't handle the heat, but we're not... Nothing around us is kind of equipped no. to deal with the heat either. Like you know, oh, the water no. supplies. We're just a temperate. Yeah. It's yeah. been lovely to have can... a proper winter and a proper yeah. summer. Yeah. But at the same time, it is only July today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... God. And it has been hot since like at the end of April. Oh yeah. It really has. Yeah. Like... Yeah. And I it was it... welcomed at first, oh, wasn't it? It is. And wonderful. now it's like really... but it's like the snow. We're like, no snow. It's <laughs> lovely. And then it's like. Oh God, the snow has to go. Like it's so funny. We just to a certain extent, and then it's like, okay, that's enough now. Um, so yeah, we are kind of funny that way. But yeah. Oh no, I just find because my my house is always warm. So like it's just been baking. To be fair, your house, um, even my house is warm. And my yeah, house I was is wondering, always cold. Yeah, yeah. Even my house is oh, boiling. Well, yeah, yeah, and I can't have the windows open after a certain time oh, of night because okay. of all the flies oh, on the okay. farm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like oh. I'm like, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've just all the windows open all the time. Yeah, no, yeah. I wish yeah. that whole there's something really nice about kind of dozing off with the window open. Yeah. But I'd literally have like fifty thousand midges oh, coming in, oh, <laughs> and gosh. you wouldn't want to know what they've probably been resting on. Oh no, God. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Like when I see one fly, I'm like, oh, disgusting, get out. Oh like, no, there's out. tons. Yeah, and yeah. I've had birds coming in. I've had no bats yet. Last year I had bats. This year I haven't had any bats yet. But I've had. I've had birds flying in all the time, really? and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Farm joys. life, yeah. The joys of farm life. <laughs> so, oh dear. so I suppose we should do some. We had to have it. Oh uh, yeah. Which, to be fair, we went to the um, the West Cork oh, yeah. Yarn and Craft Festival yeah. last week. Yeah. Um, five of us went down, and it was a it was a lovely day. It was lovely. Um, it was so nice. Yeah, yeah. we had. Uh, we had the best time. To be fair, we tend to we tend to anyway. Oh, yeah, if there's a yeah. few of us, mm. we've all known each other for so long at this stage. Yeah. Um, we all went out, went down in my car, which doesn't have air conditioning. <laughs> so um, that was novel. Deirdre and I were fine because I was in front and Deirdre was riding shotgun. Edwina, Fiona, and Lucy in the back. I don't know so much. <laughs> <It's squished. laughs> They seem to be okay. At least they didn't mention that they, they didn't weren't mention okay. It, no. And I think they're still talking to us. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, 
going down, we were kind of under the shade anyway, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Coming back, it was a little bit warm. Mm. Um, so the festival itself was lovely. It's a very, it was a very small festival this year, where the idea is that it will grow year on year, isn't okay, it? Yeah, it's yeah. in a lovely set, and it's in Doris. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is... It's on the Sheep's Head Peninsula, yeah. just outside Bantry. Miss and Head and Sheep's Head meet there, don't they, yeah, I think? Yeah, yeah. So it's so idyllic. And yeah. yeah. It's really picturesque. Um, there were there was a mixture of different um, vendors there. Um, Annie, uh, the organiser, is actually also the lady behind Moon and Sixpence Yarns, oh, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. Um, there was Eve Chambers designs down there. Yep. I get confused because Eve rebranded, didn't oh, she? She, she did, was yeah. Eve and Apple, wasn't she? Yeah. She was rebranded. Um, there was Bantry Yarns. There was uh, Liz Store. Oh, I'm so used to just calling it Liz. I can't think what I said. It was oh, doing spinning spin demonstrations. demonstrations. Yeah. There, um, there was, there was Neve making jewelry. There was jewelry. There was um, uh, fascinators. Yeah. There was um, oh, flower crop, oh, pressed flowers. Pressed flowers. Yeah. They were beautiful. Um, um, there was dyeing kits and felting kits, and there was quilts. Yeah. There was, and then there was like the the dog crowd in the middle what were they were just selling oh, little kind of bits and pieces bits and they? pieces and then there was the tatting lady wasn't there outside oh, yeah, so there was yeah, a good yeah. a good mm. a good amount of different bits and pieces um and then i think and macrame was, then the yeah, next day wasn't yeah there? there was a couple changing wasn't yeah. there the next day it was really nice yeah um and we made a we made a real day of it um on the way home we kind of went slightly out of our way and we went to bantry and although bantry yarns were at the festival we called into the shop which I have to say, I really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't get to go to yarn shops very much. I know, much. Yeah, yeah, me either. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's a nice one down there, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, really friendly. Yeah, lots and lots of um, lovely stuff. We've actually uh, done them as one of our local yarn shops, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And you'd been down before, hadn't yeah, you? Yeah, I met Mary before. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, but I hadn't, and yeah, just blown away. Um, and we had, we went to the stuffed olive, didn't stuffed we? Stuffed olive, yeah, that beautiful cake. Yeah. yeah. So we had a great day. Yeah. Oh, and that, what was that? Craft race. Oh, Forest and Flock, is it? Yeah. Yeah, oh. super. It's like a collaborative type store, yeah. would you say, where like different crafty people are hosted in this. Yeah. Um, um, so you can kind of see people. A lot of people actually that we'd featured in Ulm and Love, yeah. that was so funny. Yeah, we were, were kind like, of walking, oh, we've done this, we've yeah. done this. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, so yeah, no, really, really, really good. good. Yeah, yeah, lovely day. So, um, so we picked up some bits and pieces, didn't we? Yeah. Do you want to do what you um, picked up? So I, um, so yeah, we, there was um, like I need another rabbit hole to fall down. But anyway, um, I bought this. Um, so it's a little kind of dinky little die kit, kind of really handy. So you're getting one skein of yarn. I got a DK because I was thinking I would knit another perperium. Sure, why not? Um, you get the the gloves, and you get. Uh, let me try and show you them here. You get the little. Let's see if you can see this. Oh yeah, the little bottle. Of the little dye. bottle of dye, and I picked a turquoise color. Um, there, and uh, then there's all the instructions as well. Handy little thing, and um, I think a few of us. So I think I think a couple of us bought these. Yeah, I think um, we did. Yeah. There was a burnt orange, and then there was a turquoise, and then there was another. Was it pink? Pink. Oh, then there was no pink. It was oh. a pur it was oh, a purple color. Okay, that's color. why you didn't get a pink. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, just like a nice little idea. So I think we kind of a few of us gravitate towards us and just uh, towards it, and just to see it look, you know, it has everything you need. So we were kind of like, well, why not? Let's yeah. just give it a go. So there were spinning um, kits and there were needle felting kits, weren't there? As yeah, well. yeah. Um, and when everything is together, yeah. kind of, you know, you're kind of like, well, why not? Yeah. Let's give that a go. Yeah. Um, so that was really cool. Um, um, then you got. Oh, uh, I got, oh. so at oh, the yeah. festival God, I got, so pretty. it is gorgeous isn't it, so it's an art bat and it's from the Moon and Sixpence. And I don't know if you can, you can see the little glittery bits. Yeah, it's got sparkles. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, and it has Dorset Horn, Neps, Locks, Sari Silk and Angelina and it's a three ounce bat. Yeah, and it is, oh, it's, it's cool. really nice. Oh, it's really it? nice. And it smells lovely. Sheepy sheeps. And sheepy. And then um, I'd actually seen these at the festival, oh. but there was only two. So Mary took Mary from um, Bantry Yarns took her stall to to the festival, but there was only two of this, which is all I needed. But I wanted to make sure that Mary had them 
in case somebody else wanted them. It's coming out a bit. It's a bit. It's coming out a bit brighter, pinker. Yeah. There. It's a bit more of a um, probably more like that. Is it? That's better, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nicer. It, it's like it's a more rose, subtle. Yeah. Yeah, it's pink, a, it's, yeah. It's a rose pink, but it's yeah. kind of like a matte yeah. rose pink, isn't oh, it? It's really pretty. So it's actually called Ruby, and it's a socks. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, I kind of gravitated a bit towards it because I know this person who's having a little go. Um, <laughs> so I was like, I kind of like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's been kind of winking at me all week, going, just nip me. <laughs> just, come on, just cast me on. And I'm like, no, I have 30 projects that I need to cast <laughs> off. So, oh, really yeah. nice. And yeah. I think, did someone at one of our other... Girls oh, get another Dr. Socks, Socks bought yeah. it in the burnt orange and I actually got oh, this yeah. because um, Sandra, our friend in the UK, has bought me two shades of this already. Oh, okay. So when she goes to Yarndale, she seems to pick me up two hanks of oh, okay. a different shade. Yeah. And I actually told her, I was like, if you're buying me anything from Yarndale, will you just stick to this? <laughs> then I can have a collection. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, oh, this yeah, good. it is really nice. I think I've got a grey and a blue okay. I think yeah. and there's like there was a neon is there a neon pink down there? yeah she, there's a few, she has a few neons yeah. I think a yellow yeah. as well um, and it's just really nice yeah it's, yeah, it's lovely is it a standard sock? it is duh, 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 duh. where are we? oh why can't I see the fibre? Uh, yeah so it's 75% uh, superwash merino 25% nylon so standard sock cool yeah so um, and then my last to dart uh, sorry, my last we had to have it isn't actually a we had to have it from this from our trip to to West Cork. It's actually a we had to have it from yeah from uh, Willem, Willem. Willem. Yeah. So, but I remember I'd mentioned uh, it yeah. on the previous podcast. So it's a bag from Sweensea Craft. It has a handle if you want to put it over your hand. And this is like a like a faux suede, isn't oh, yeah. it? Yeah, nice. And this is a tweed. Oh, it's really tweed. nice. Love that. And then there's this. Cute little closure, tashable closer. I love the rebranding. Yeah, and it's very yeah, good. Yeah, it is isn't nice it? actually. In first, and then the inside. And I've just dropped. So it's got. Let me oh, turn it in the other way. So it's got two nice pockets. Oh, cool, handy. Yeah, and then also got one of the little lavender bags oh, that cool. just go in it. So. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I, I, I have to say I really yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm well it's just a nice, it. it's nicely, you know, not fussy, yeah. simple, but it's really, yeah. really kind of elegant. Or, yeah. yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Really and cool. I bought this, forgetting that I had bought another oh, bag. of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I've just left packaged up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> Have too many bags. No, though. you know, no. There's always something to put in the bags. That's the thing. Um, and then there was a lady there who made quilts, um, baby oh, yes. quilts, and um, you know, my eyes were like boing on stalks because they were so cute. And um, then the girls, the knitting girls, kindly said that because um, we would normally do a collection, I suppose, for anyone who's having a little baby or for kind of significant birthdays or whatever. Ill. Um, or if you're ill, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so they were like, why don't you get that? And that can be, you know, our gift to you. And I was like, what? That's amazing. So I picked this. To be fair, it is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. Me... We're going to disappear uh, for a minute. Yeah. And we uh, start in, we go down. Yeah. Like uh, this. Yeah. And then go up. Yeah. So it's a... Uh, it's a map, isn't it? It's a square one. Yeah, square one. And it, it has, uh, as you can see, kind of nice little, um, they're kind of like vintage type material, yeah. I think fabric and nice florals and really pretty and then the backing is just uh, plain pink and I was thinking it would make a lovely um, play mat or you know a mat where I can put the little girl down um, and just let her lie there yeah and, and it's so soft yeah. and pretty and oh it just it stole my heart yeah and I have I think I have this lady's name at home oh, I'll just check Cuddle Ducks I think yeah. was the name of her business it's more of a hobby to be fair she said she yeah. kind of does it because yeah. she likes to do it I don't think she's on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that selling them. <laughs> she just goes along to craft fairs. Yeah. She, if she feels like it, she just goes along. Mm -hmm. um, but she kind of makes them more out of out of um, just a love for yeah, the craft, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah, you can kind of yeah, you can see that like a lot. They're just really 
Yeah, really pretty in fairness. Yeah. She had a nice collection there, yeah. Yeah. So you might see her some uh, you might have been to her somewhere. Yeah. Some um <laughs> bottle ducks. And yeah, she might be doing a market somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So of was, course if you're here. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well that's true. So that was a nice little gift, yeah. Yeah, it is nice. And that's already up in the nursery draped over the, the <laughs> cot. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty. And less stress for moi. Well, when it comes go. to having to organise yeah, the done. gifts. Yeah. So it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> so no, that was perfect. It was a really nice trip. And um, yeah, I think we were all very happy with our bits and pieces yeah. that we bought. Yeah. yeah, I think everybody bought something, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and then we had, oh, we have, oh, we have a little, it'll be, t we have a little, oh, it'll be lovely when it's finished each mm. to show you. Yeah. So, um, Kel's prees, mine is a baby blanket. <laughs> I said I better uh, get on it. And I realised that I, I remembered that I had purchased, um, a Sardar baby crafter, um, on our, was it on when we went to our crow or was it, because I don't remember that on the Second yarn crawl. You bought the yellow. Yeah, the first yarn crawl. I know. There you go. So <laughs> not last year, but the year before. Yeah, because Winnie wow. had bought it. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, they had. So this was bought in Winnie uh, Winnie's World Cafe, um, Bishopstown, and I bought. Um, yeah, I have four balls of this. So I was like, what am I going to do with this? And then I thought, look at the colours. Um, and then I thought it would be nice to do a baby blanket. So <clears throat> I went searching for something. I wanted to do something plain, but all. But not too plain, so I found this, um, I'm going to try and show you, well actually I'll put some white behind it though, because there's a little lace pattern. Uh -huh. Little, there uh, we go. I don't know if you can see. I'll, I'll actually, yeah. well I put a picture the of, the, yeah. of the design here as well. Anyway, I'm just going to try and see if you can see that, but it's a little heart. Um, oh yeah, do you yeah. know you can actually see it, you can see it really clearly from the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, you can. it's quite better. That's weird. Can you? Oh, it's weird, isn't it? It's you not really see. showing. Anyway, oh, okay. See our terrible um, notes as so, well. So, well, the um, <laughs> so the hearts go all the way across, and then they go, you know, so um, every second one on top on the next row, and then back to it. So it goes, it'll go all the way up. And I just thought it was really pretty. And is the, it a free pattern? Or? It's a free pattern. Okay. And it's on Ravelry, and it's called Baby Blanket Love, and it's by. From Anne has hands. hands. Um, and it's free passion. And it, yeah, it's going to use, it will probably use just under the four balls of these. Okay. Um, this, I can give you the meter. Oh, well, actually, you just go to Ravelry and find the pattern, but I think it's. Um, is it for a size four needle that you're using? It is, yeah. it is. And I. it's not a massive blanket, it's just going to be something that, like, when she's in the buggy, it's kind of more of a okay. little kind of cosy rather than like a full proper blanket. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just something. It's like um, so. I'm going to be doing this, and then because of what have I? Eleven weeks to go. Um, then I'll be doing smaller kind of um, okay. little bits. Eleven uh, weeks. Eleven weeks. <laughs> it's not that long. Wow. <laughs> wow. <I'm> so <laughs> much to do. Um, uh, so yeah. So that's that's my. Yeah, that's my project at the moment, and I'm going to be casting on another one, but I can tell you about that in the next episode. And then mine... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I was working on last night, let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, I was working on... I have a needle going through it because it meant some of it's meant to be on the stitch hold, and I was just too lazy. I just left the needle on. Mm -hmm. So, it's one of the girlfriend market bags, um, which actually stretch out an awful lot once they're... Okay, yeah, yeah. Once they're done. So I am doing the strap, which I'm making slightly wider. But as you can see, I ran out of yarn. Oh. So this morning I went looking for the rest of the yarn. I knew I had some more. And I picked this up in the sale in Vibes and Scribes. Oh, yeah. Actually, I didn't pick up in the sale. One of our friends said they were going up, and I was like, ah, I know they have linen for sale. Um, so it's the Tivoli Linen Cotton uh, Mix, and it's 47% uh, linen, 53% cotton. It's an Aran weight and there's 165 metres on the ball. So, and I bought a few balls. I already had the green, um, mm -hmm. so the idea was that I'd kind of make some of these bags and use them up. The two colours are really nice together. They actually. look really cool yeah, together, yeah. don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. I've actually got another one 
Um, this was in the bag with another one, and I'd made the other one a little bit smaller. I was reading all the notes, um, the project notes at the time mm -hmm. when I started this quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I took it out of the bag, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it small. Oh, okay. And it is pretty much finished. I think it just needs, the strap needs graft in. Oh, okay. And I'm kind of tempted to pull it out because I'm like, yeah. will I actually use it? Is it too small? Okay, yeah. And I'm like, oh, maybe a friend's little girl it might oh. it might work for. So I don't know, I'll have a look at it. I'll pull it out. And, and is there two straps? Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. work, so you, what you do, excuse the banging because of the needle. So you work this strap long oh, yeah. and then you graft it to this side. Ah, oh, gotcha. So okay. that your join is actually hidden then. Oh, cool. So, oh, nice. Yeah, it's That's a nice clever. bag. Yeah. 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 We featured it, didn't we, in one of the issues yeah, of the magazine as our design, yeah, design spotlight. spotlight. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, do you know, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm saying I'm trying to be good and obviously I've just bought two <laughs> and some fibre. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to kind of look at my stash with, with different eyes yeah, a little bit yeah, and go, do you know what, I can make this, mm -hmm. I can make that. So if I can clear some of the projects that I've got, because I think I'd counted 30, hadn't I? Yeah. And then stopped counting. Mm -hmm. 30 that are active. <laughs> um, if I can get some of those down, then I'll feel better about casting them. I know what you bits mean. And pieces. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been looking at, at different bits and pieces for people that are pregnant, <laughs> daughters that are pregnant, um, and, and also, dare I say it, the C thing that happens in mm, yeah. less, less than half a year now. Um, so, just to try and get things sorted. So, I, I, yeah, in my head, I'd like to whittle it down to, if possible, 15. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Before I cast on anything else. <laughs> well, if you knock off the five that you were talking about, so now you're down to 25. <laughs> so it's only 10 more. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Do the small ones. Do you reckon? Yeah. I think a few of them just need ends sewing oh, in and buttons yeah. sewing oh, well, on. Yeah. But that just that takes so long. Yeah. The finishing is you're like yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah. It just takes it just takes ages. And you, you kind of the thrill of knitting it is gone. Yeah. It's kind of more burdensome. Yeah. You know, you're kind of like oh. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's so important. There's no point spending all that time yeah, yeah, knitting yeah, something. And then not paying attention to the way you the seams are, or I can distinctly remember in the shop I used to have people that would come in and they'd say my seams aren't flat on the back, and I'd be like, but they they're not meant to be. They're meant to be flat on the front. It's like when you're sewing, you still have yeah. a seam. It's not like don't get me wrong, you still want to try and make them tidy, but it's important that it looks good on the front. front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. not the back. Yeah. You know, don't get me. all knitters do tend to look <laughs> yeah. at the back, and then you're like, no, don't look, don't look at the back. Yeah. The front, yeah, the front is perfect. Don't look <laughs> at the back. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the exterior. Yeah, yeah exactly. especially for the magazine, it needs to look perfect yes. for the front. Yeah, so it's wonders what you can do with sewing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In fairness, <laughs> tricks, <laughs> nips and tucks. Yeah. So I think we're done already. That's it. Yeah. 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 Um, it didn't go on for too long. No. I thought because we had so much to do, I thought I thought it would be much longer. So yeah. that's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, um, maybe we're getting the hang of it. Do you think? I don't know. It was good time. That our next door neighbours have gotten a new dog, and oh. they're they're just not quite. They don't know him. Okay. And so they know there's a new dog. Okay. And so it's kind of this. The minute he barks, it's a new bark, and they're just okay. a bit, yeah. Okay. And he's a rescue dog, bless him. And he's Aww. he he must have been treated very badly. And Aww. He's so scared of everything that, yeah, Aww. yeah, it's sad. But he's in the best place. They're so lovely next door, so they Aww, really look after great. him. But that's it's just story. it's just one of those things where they're just get sniffing each other through the fence and yeah. kind of getting to know each other, you know. <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> Anyway, but that was nearly good timing. We were nearly done. Yeah. So they've been very good. <laughs> we'll love you and leave you. And yeah. when we come back, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. the new issue will have been published. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and we can talk about some of the bits and pieces that are in that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we'll see you soon. Have a lovely couple of weeks. And yeah. see you soon. Bye. Bye.